Hello everyone, it's Off White Mike. I hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to be running through how to recruit the Great Eagles in the War of the Ring campaign. In the north of the map you'll find the Eagles Eyrie, or home of the Great Eagle, which has a particularly impressive custom model. It's defended by the Great Eagles themselves, which includes a general unit being Gwehair. Wayher is the Great Eagle that rescues Gandalf from Isengard after being attacked by Saruman and also after defeating the Balrog. It's descended from a prominent Great Eagle from the First Age called Dorindir. The Eagle units themselves are fairly strong, they're very high in the offensive department but slightly lacking in defence. Gwehair additionally is fully upgraded with the gold sword and the gold shield. Monster units in this mod are notoriously strong. The only real weakness they have is ranged fire, so make sure you've got plenty of archers with you. So let's jump into this one. You'll see that Eos Eerie has a custom battle map to bring it to life. So, without further ado, let's jump into this one and get our archers lined up. Okay, that is the battle one. So once you've taken the assessment, you can now recruit Great Eagles from here. If we go to the recruitment tab, we can see we can get a unit of Great Eagles. They take eight turns to recruit and cost three and a half thousand coins, but they are particularly strong. If you are going to use them, just remember they are very vulnerable to ranged fire. Even though they've got decent defense and plus 6 hit points, they have massive hitboxes so they won't last long under archer fire. Sometimes it can be a good idea just to send in a cheaper unit to soak up the enemy missiles and then send in the eagles once they're out of ammo. It's probably worth noting as well that there's only certain factions that can recruit the eagles being Dale, Rohan, Gondor, the Free Peoples, and the three Dwarven factions. So if you're playing as one of the other factions and you recruit this settlement, even if it has the nest, you won't be able to recruit the Great Eagles. The way this works is that the settlement doesn't actually start with the Eagle's nest. It is auto-constructed on turn two. So if you do manage to take this before turn two and you don't see the building then don't panic because it will just auto construct anyway. The settlement itself is actually economically very beneficial as well. It's got taxes of four and a half thousand so even if you can't get the Great Eagles there's still an economic reason to go for it. I think that's about it for this video but thanks for watching the guide and I'll see you on the next one.